was tough. Uh, it was a great score. Tried not to foul. And that's how, and I tried not to give me no easy ones. Uh, like the end of the first day, I gave him a, I gave him a layup and a dunk. Uh, can't have that. Uh, so, but it's, I mean, you got to pick your poison with him. You, you, you hit a step back, you try to press up, you don't go around. So, uh, great score, but you got to hold it just a shot. How do you think you did overall? Uh, I, I played well. I didn't foul him. That's one of our goals. I'm sitting the free throw line. So I didn't, I didn't foul him. Uh, he made shots. Uh, so you got a little bit of him. Some of the shots he made were pretty well guarded by you. Did you get feedback from teammates or coaches on you're doing fine, just keep at it? Uh, yeah, I knew I was doing, doing all right. Uh, it wasn't an easy one for him. Uh, probably like two or three. Uh, but, you know, he's a shot maker. And, uh, that's what he does. Uh, he loves those, those type of shots. The shots that you want him to take, he wants to take too. So uh, you got to live with it sometimes. Was that moment when you first got out there and you went on an island with Harden that it felt a little bit surreal? Did it feel uh, like a big moment at all? I mean, not really. Uh, that's what they do. Uh, I've been out there before. Uh, so I kind of expect it, respect it, uh, want to take on the challenge. I mean, it's the first thing that tried to ISO me, but uh, he's, probably, he's probably the best ISO player, so it's a little different, a little tougher. Um, but you know he's going to make shots. You know you, you know you can't stop him, so you just want to uh, make it work and don't foul him. When he well, does when that, what out, do you... out there with Raymond, how much communication is there? And what what he's telling you to do defensively? Uh, it's, it's great when Draymond's out there. He's our defense anchor. Um, he talks me through a lot of things, uh, switches. I know uh, which way to send, send hard because I know I got help in the back. In the back is when uh, a great rim protector. And, uh, so he's a great communicator. He talks to us through a lot. And he, uh, he makes uh, adjustments on the fly that really helps us throughout the game. When you're matched up on Harden, what are you kind of anticipating of like, what he might do? Uh, I mean, I know it, like a lot of times he's going he's gonna to shoot the three. Uh, but you can't really press up on it. He's gonna go around you. So uh, you gotta really kind of pick your poison. If he, if he got it going, and like he had yesterday, trying to get up on him and uh, try to make him work a little bit harder. But he, he's able to get to the basket. But uh, you gotta help. He just missed the shots. Uh, we got great guys on our team. If you can't stop, you gotta help they miss. Uh, he's one of those guys. Yeah, during the regular season, Steve was really praising you uh, with the Rockets matchup, like how well prepared you were with their personnel. Like, what did he do throughout this past year to be familiar with them overall? Uh, I mean, it's something I work on is uh, on ball defense and be able to switch out the pick and roll. And uh, they're one of the best pick and roll teams, the ISO team. So uh, I, I think I'm pretty good with not fouling and, and staying disciplined and staying down. And that's one of the things that uh, with guys like Crafty, like Chris Paul and James Harden, you got to do. Uh, you don't want to send to the free throw line so they can catch a rhythm. Uh, just do your best and test the shots. How much? You're at UCLA. Could you could you ever have envisioned this being your path to, to playing time, being a, a versatile defender who switches off ball screens, pick up guard? Uh, nah, not really. I never thought I would play center uh, coming out of college. So now I'm playing center. Uh, the league's changed a lot since I've been in it, and I'm just embracing my new role. And uh, this role that I carved out for myself, uh, uh, I feel comfortable in it. I'm getting, trying to get better at it every day. So. Uh, uh, something I think I can keep progressing and get better at. Given the last two years, did you think you would make the team out of camp given what you did this summer? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I knew I, I was going to be able to have a spot on this team. Uh, I felt com uh, confident in myself and my body coming into camp. So I knew I put in a lot of work and I felt uh, confidence in everything. I, I knew I made a great jump from the year before and just even from the summer league. So uh, I, knew, I know I can get better now. I'm still trying to get better and, and keep progressing. How much has your switch defense improved this year, and, and who's helped you the most with that on this team? Uh, I think it's improved, improved a lot uh, from the start of camp. Uh, Spending a lot of time talking to CD and uh, Ron Adams, just talking about my uh, foot position and uh, my hands uh, in. And just the small things that's really been helping. I got great examples, and uh, Andre's a great wing defender. I got Draymond, who's great at switching. So I got a lot of great guys that I can, I can watch and try to mimic out there on the floor, but uh, Coach Adams and uh, Chris Darmanko uh, really uh, watch a lot of film and break down what I can do better each game. What have you noticed Steph doing in game one in terms of embracing all the little things with whenever he was matched up on Harden and setting screens? How do you see him kind of approach those different facets? Uh, when, when approaching the small things, you just got to know uh, if I do my job, it's going to yeah. make the job easier for everybody else. It's going to make it easier for KD, Steph, Draymond. Andre, you don't want to be the, the weak link out there, so you got to be able to do small things to, to contribute to this team. You know, we got great scores and a uh, uh, great assist, man. So for the guys who come off the bench and make an uh, impact on the game, you got to do small things. So how, how did you see Steph do? Oh, Steph. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Steph, uh, 
he did a lot of small things yesterday. Uh, he had a couple big steals. Um, you know, he didn't foul that, that, that much on, on the switching. Uh, you know, I know how it feels to get picked on in the pick and roll, so uh, I think he did a great job. He made hard work for every bucket that he got. And, uh, and then he, he came back down, pushed the ball, and made the whole him too. So uh, small things was, was big for Steph, and uh, he really gave it to a boost. Steph said that you guys now, you got game one, now you have to get greedy. Yeah. What, what, what does that mean in practice? Uh, just coming in with a, with a, uh, with a mindset that uh, we want to try to win game two. We just don't want to win one game. Uh, we want to go in, be disciplined, uh, don't let our guards down, uh, uh, not turn the ball over. We have games where you we play like this, have eight or nine turnovers, and then next game we might have 17, so you want to stay locked in and, and take care of the ball. How much of a cover level is there knowing that if everything goes wrong, you still have KD who can hit an impossible shot after impossible? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a great feeling to know when the shot clock's going down, we can give us KD, we can give us play, we can give us Steph, they all get their own, 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 own basket. And, and when KD got it going like that, nobody can really do anything about it. So uh, we know when uh, they're, they got the momentum, they're going to run, run around, we can just call the play for KD and watch them work. Did you I have a sense yesterday? Last night, but um, can you talk about, as you guys get deeper into the playoffs, the importance of that veteran leadership, especially from Andre? Uh, it's really important to have leadership out there. Uh, guys have been winning in their whole career. Uh, uh, for a young guy like me, this is my first time in an environment like this. So I have uh, Andre to lean on, and Draymond to lean on, guys on the bench, David West, guys I talked to when I went when I uh, subbed out. Uh, it, it really helps us a lot. Uh, we know when uh, we get down, when team make a run, we uh, keep us all calm, we know that we've been here before, so that we can get back in the game. Did you have a sense yesterday that you would be playing big minutes? Things kind of changed when Andre got in early foul trouble. Uh, yeah, when uh, Draymond had got three in the, in the second quarter and Andre, so I knew I had to stay out there a little longer. I knew I uh, just wanted to keep, my, keep the intensity up and he uh, was in a good spot. Just want to close the quarter well and uh, no fouling and, and just play smart. How far do you feel like you've come just in the past couple of months? I feel like uh, I came pretty far. Uh, when the guys got hurt, um, when the guys on the bench got a lot of time to play, I feel like I got better during that time. I, I got more com comfortable out there on the floor and uh, things were paying off for me. What about the the rest of this series? You never know how Steve's going to mix and match centers, but do you have confidence that you're going to play a big role? Uh, I think so. I mean, and you never know. Uh, depends on the game. Uh, Steve can, can switch the lineups. Uh, he does a pretty good job with that. And, and uh, usually when he when he switches it up, it usually works. So uh, everybody in our bench is ready to play. I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be ready to play. And if, it, if it doesn't happen, I'm just going to cheer from the sideline. Just uh, stay confident, stay ready. Each season, the goal is to game by game, but during the playoffs, how much is that learning curve expedited? Uh, it's, 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 learning curve is much, much faster. Uh, you don't have time to make uh, the, the small, small mistakes. You got to be able to, uh, to learn, learn on the fly. Uh, when a team uh, hits you with a play, you got to be able to uh, learn and, and take it away the next play. Uh, each game changes. Each game is very different. It's a different storyline, different feel, uh, different adjustments happen every game. So you got to be ready. Um, we got a great team, team with a lot of IQ, so um, we talk we, we talk about it and we learn on the fly pretty fast. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for all your time, sir.